Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show the pitch envelope in Reaper. I have a project up here where I've already imported a synth loop. And it sounds like this. Now I'm really happy with the rhythm, but the musical note doesn't change. So I want to use a pitch envelope to adjust it. Now if we go to our track over here, or the track envelopes, we'll notice something missing. There's volume, pan, width, and even mute. But there's no pitch envelope on the track. So if we want a pitch envelope, we need to get it from the item. Or more specifically, on the take. So let's select our item, go to the item menu, and go down here to take. And we can see our take envelopes down here. There's one for volume, pan, mute, and also pitch. But we could also find this if we right click our item, go to take, and go right down here, take pitch envelope. And if we choose it, it's going to create a pitch envelope we can use, which shows up right over here. And we could draw on it just like any other envelope in Reaper. Hold the control on the PC or command on the Mac, and we could just draw it in. And it's going to change the pitch with that envelope. Now, by default, we can only bring it up plus three or down minus three. If we want to go further, we need to change a preference. So let's go to our preferences, go to options, preferences, and we'll scroll down to envelope display. And right over here, we have per take pitch envelope range. By default, it's three, but let's change it to 12. Although we could change it to anything we want. But choosing 12 will give us a full octave. So that we could draw in bigger changes. But if we want to create specific musical notes, we want to be more precise. So let's zoom in to the first area we want to change. Let's go right over here, hold on shift, and create two points. Then we could bring this up by hand, or we could right click it and choose set point value. Or we could hold down control on the PC or command on the Mac and double click it and change it right here. Let's make it plus three semitones. And that's going to sound like this. Then right over here, we could change it again. Hold on shift, create two points, double click it, and change it to minus two. We can keep doing this, changing the pitch as we go. Let's make this plus five. And then bring it back down at the next bar, back to zero. So that's one way of adjusting the pitch of our audio. But we could also do it in steps. Let's reset this and let's go back to our preferences. Because right now, if we create a few points right here and right here and bring it up as a segment, it's hard to get it perfect. So instead, let's go to our preferences and choose the option next to here for snapping. It's off by default, but we could change it to semitones or different scent values. But with semitones, it's going to snap 
to the nearest musical note. So now I could bring this up in steps. Let's go up three and hear that. And change this to be minus two. And then go up five over here. We'll get the same result, but we could do it a different way by bringing up and down our segments. Makes it a bit easier for trying out different notes. And we could also do things like slides. Like this note right here, let's create two new points and slide it up as high as possible to create this effect. And do the opposite on this note. Slide it all the way down. So you can create interesting slides with the envelope. As you can see, the options are endless. But it's a great way of tuning our audio using envelopes, either moving it with points and creating slides or creating segments that are going to snap to semitones or to notes. And we could use this with any audio you want, whether it be a vocal, a piano, a bass guitar. We could fix notes or create melodies right on the fly using an envelope. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. That's the pitch envelope in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.